Hey! Hi! How are you doing? This is the Gamertron. Welcome back to the Gamertron Show. Quick video. So I'm browsing the YouTubes and I end up on Bethesda's YouTube channel. I happen to take a gander at their latest Quake Champions video. And... Hwa! <laughs> Gaming community, why do you do this? Ugh. You know, it's extremely difficult for the industry, for the publishers and the developers to take us seriously when there are those of you that act like man-children. Look, no one's forcing you to be excited, to look forward to, to be interested in the new Quake Champions. But for Christ's sakes! Withhold judgments until you see some actual gameplay! This is the Doom multiplayer all over again! People jump into conclusions and getting upset over the most minute, petty things! With Doom, it was loadouts. All anyone could talk about and complain about with Doom multiplayer were the loadouts. Loadouts, 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 loadouts ruin the game! No, they do not. Loadouts are a perfectly fine gameplay mechanic and way of player customization. They're not an inherently bad thing for video games. And with Quake Champions, the announcement that there will be different playable characters with different special abilities is what people are freaking out over now. I see such stupid comments in the comments section as, Quake is ruined! Fuck you, how dare you add character abilities into the multiplayer? This isn't Quake! No, this isn't Quake. This isn't Quake 2. This isn't Quake Free Arena. This is Quake Champions. This is a new game, not one of the old games. This is what I don't get from these nostalgic old school gamers. Any form of gameplay mechanic, content, or feature that has been present in recent games they deem to be bad, even though there's nothing inherently wrong with them. And what's even more somewhat insulting and disgusting, which makes this comment all the more ironic because the only thing disgusting is your behavior, buddy, is that this declaration of new gameplay mechanics and features is inherently casual. Oh no, we got these hardcore gamer f not this hardcore gamer versus casual gamer shit. You know, it's these kinds of people that really need to get outside more and interact with other human beings and learn how society works. Because if you think you are superior, better to another human being, because you've played a video game longer or you're really into this game, you do well in the game, if you think that somehow qualifies as you being better than someone else, then you're a scumbag. But to add to that, we got these hypocritical comments comparing the game to Overwatch and saying that Overwatch is a game for casuals. Have you been living under a rock? Are, are you really th this ignorant? While Overwatch has its casual elements and can be played casually, it for the most part is a very fucking competitive game. Hell, its competitive esports elements are what have that game in the public eye so much. Just the hostility and the toxicity from these old school shooter fans, it's, it's unreal. I experienced this firsthand when I made videos talking about Doom multiplayer and the controversy surrounding the old school gamer hate towards the Doom multiplayer. This outrage and aggression is pathetic, really. And it leads to me repeating something that I have been repeating forever. If you put a video game over a person, if you disrespect, insult, attack another human being over a video game for whatever reason, then you lose any and all credibility and any and all forms of respect. I mean, looking at some of the comments in this comment section, insulting the developers, insulting people that may be excited for the game, it's just all sorts of pathetic. Now everyone has the right to voice their opinion. If you don't like the direction the new Quake is going, good for you. Doesn't give you the right to act like a total bastard and start insulting and harassing the devs over it. It's just a video game. Stop taking things so personally. And with that being said, that's a video. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video in any way, shape, or form, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video. Please leave a comment. I love reading comments. Again, nearly enough comments. What are your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the topic of this video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, then consider pledging and becoming a patron on my Patreon. Anyways, guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later. And look, let's just hold judgments about Quake Champions until we see some actual gameplay, please. Oh my god, people.